You want to get shaders in Minecraft 1.21.5? Let's go ahead and do it. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below. This will take you to our in-depth guide on getting iris shaders for Minecraft. The reason we're using iris shaders over Optifine shaders is Optifine's not out yet. One, for Minecraft 1.21.5, and two, iris shaders in pretty much every way is a lot of times better than Optifine. It's more optimized, meaning it runs better on your computer and has more shader pack availability at this point. It's actually kind of crazy. Iris Shaders just kind of taken over Optifine over the years. So we're going to be using that here. However, if you do prefer to use Optifine, we'll do a video as soon as it's released. So be sure to subscribe to the channel for that. Once you're on the Iris page here in the description, it's the second link down below, go ahead and scroll down and click on this Download Iris Shaders button. Once you've done that, it will take you to the official Iris Shaders download page where you can just click on this Download Universal Jar button. After a few seconds, the download will pop up like this. You may need to keep or save the file. It's 100% safe to do that. Watch well, downloading how events from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS checked Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and customize the server any way that you want. Plus, it just makes Minecraft server hosting easy. If you started the server in the past and it's been complicated, Simple Game Hosting fixes all that. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and start your Minecraft server the simple way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash SGH. Now, we've got the Iris Shaders mod installed. This is what will allow the shaders to actually work in Minecraft, but the shaders themselves are actually shader packs, and there's a ton of different options for them. Linked in the description down below is a link to here. This is our list of the best shaders for Minecraft in 2025. All of these are amazing. Let's go ahead and grab BSL shaders. We'll also grab Makeup Ultra Fast, and we'll grab a lighter shaders pack called Vanilla Plus shaders here. Shaders packs are generally downloaded from three places. One, they're downloaded from CurseForge, which is where we are here. Two, they're downloaded from Moderinth. Or three, they are downloaded from a website that is basically controlled by the shader pack. So once we're here on Vanilla Plus Shaders, we can go to Files, and we can find the most recent version here. If it's not 1.21.5, that's okay. Sometimes even older versions, back to 1.19, can work in the most recent version. So if it's older... That's okay, give it a shot anyway because it still may work. Go ahead and save this right like so. For the BSL shaders, we can come here and go to BSL shader packs, and then we can go to download. Now we're gonna be downloading this on Moderinth just because I wanna show you what that looks like. So here we are on Moderinth. The download process is very similar. Go to versions here, and then you wanna find the most recent one. We can go ahead and click the download option there, and it will begin downloading. Last but not least, we want to go ahead and download Makeup Ultra Fast. This is also on CurseForge, so we can go to Files and again, grab the most recent version. None of these are officially for 1.21.5, but as far as shaders go, not much changed. And so a lot of these shaders packs don't actually even need to update at all, because like I said, not much changed when it comes to the lighting and shading and all that stuff that is done with the shader mod. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we want to move all of this to our desktop. For me, it's going to be in my downloads folder here. As you can see, we have the Iris installer. We can drag that to the desktop. We've also got all three of our shaders packs. We'll move those there as well. Makeup Ultra Fast, BSL, and Vanilla Plus Shaders. We're going to be starting off with the shader mod itself, this .jar file here. So right click on it, click on open with, and click Java. That should then open the Iris installer. But if for whatever reason it doesn't, you need to download Java from the description down below. This is our in-depth guide on getting Java 21 for Minecraft mods. Obviously shaders are a Minecraft mod, so this is needed for you to get shaders in Minecraft. We also have the jar fix. This will take the jar files like Iris shaders and link them back to Java. But for First, you need to get Java 21, then run the jar fix. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and again open the Iris installer with right click, open with Java. Once this is open, it's actually really easy. Just click Iris only and click install. There you go. It's now completed, it's installed, you're good to go. We can close out of the Iris installer and actually delete it from our desktop. Now what we want to do is open up the Minecraft launcher. Anytime you want to play Minecraft with shaders, you're going to need to use your Iris shaders installation. Luckily, that's really easy to do, and it'll be in-game as soon as we launch it here. So here we are in the Minecraft launcher. We can see it's already selected. Iris and Sodium for 121.5. We can go to Installations up here at the top. We want to make sure Modded is checked. If it's not, it's not there. But as soon as we check Modded, there it is. Iris and Sodium for 121.5. I'm actually going to go in here and change the resolution so you can see better once we get in-game. Click Save and play Minecraft using Iris and Sodium. Sodium is a mod that is installed alongside Iris and required for Iris. It's automatically installed with the installer, so you don't have to worry about getting it. But it uh, makes Minecraft more efficient, basically adds in performance settings, things like that. And that's why Iris Shaders actually performs better than Optifine. Even when it comes to performance, it's because Sodium is installed automatically and required 
for it to work. Once Minecraft's open, we can install these shader packs. Go to options and then video settings, and then you're gonna get this hello. We can go ahead and close out of that and click shader packs at the top. Again, that was options, video settings, shader packs up here at the top. Then what you wanna do is click the open shader pack folder here. Now drag and drop any shader packs you wanna install right here into this shader packs folder. As soon as you do that, they will appear back here. You wanna make sure this is enabled. If it's disabled, it won't work. So make sure shaders is enabled and then click on the shader pack you want. Let's go ahead and start off with BSL shader here and then click apply. It'll reload, turn yellow, and it's now active. Before we go check this out in game though, go to shader pack settings, because you can change a lot of cool stuff here. Your profile, if you have a lower end computer, you could use low, for example. If you have a higher end computer, you could use high or ultra. It's kind of up to you as to what you're wanting out of this. You can change specific lighting, all that stuff. Every shader pack has different sort of shader pack settings, so it's worth checking this out to make sure you get them exactly how you want it. Nevertheless, we can now go in game and we're gonna join none other than a simple game hosting server, which we have right here. Simple game hosting allows any Minecraft server you want and you can use shaders on simple game hosting servers as well. And actually on any server you want because shaders are a local mod. They don't require anything to be done server side in order for them to work. And immediately we can see they are working absolutely beautiful volumetric clouds, all that stuff. You can change shader packs in game, by the way. So if you go ahead and click hit escape, go to options, video settings, we can go to shader packs and we can sit, switch to makeup ultra fast, click apply. And if we go to shader pack settings, you'll be able to see what I mean. Every shader pack has different looks and different shading or shader settings options. Excuse me. Now, once we're in game, we can see that this is a completely different look, different looking clouds, lighting's a bit different, all of that stuff. And then last but not least, least vanilla plus shaders it's actually a very very light shader pack and it's kind of hard to tell shaders are installed at all with it uh, as you can see the sun's a bit different things like that the clouds are there but they're still minecraft looking and most importantly the uh, grass things like that still does sway in the wind but nevertheless if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below but that's how you can get shaders in minecraft 1.21.5 we will see you in the next video i am out peace